So in this problem, we are going to find the derivative of this function f of x at negative 1. So first we'll find the general derivative f prime of x. Now to do that, we're going to need to rewrite each of these three terms so that they are not fractions. Now you could use the quotient rule on each of these one at a time, but that would be the very long and difficult way to do it. I would not recommend that. So instead, let's start by rewriting f of x so that each of these is x to a power. So 1 over x, you could rewrite as x to the power of negative 1. Right? We're bringing the x up to the numerator and making the exponent positive. And you do the same thing with each of these. So for 1 over x squared, we could write that as x to the minus 2, and 1 over x cubed is x to the minus 3. Now that it's written like this, we can apply the power rule to differentiate it. So we'll bring the negative 1 down out front, so it'll become negative 1 times x to the power of negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then the same thing here, this negative 2 is going to come down out front, so I'm just going to write it as negative 2 instead of plus minus 2, times x to the negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and then the same thing on the last part. So now that we've done that, now we can go ahead and plug in negative 1. Now, because I'm going to plug in a number, I'm going to actually rewrite this with positive exponents first because it'll be easier to compute. So I'm going to rewrite all of these three terms with positive exponents by putting the x to the power back in the denominators and making that exponent positive. Now notice this negative 1 and the 2 here and the 3 here are not being raised to these powers, so they stay in the numerator. Only the x <coughs> to the negative 3 goes into the denominator. The 2 stays in the numerator where it currently is because it's not being raised to a power because there's no parentheses here and here. Okay, I think that'll be easier to plug uh, negative 1 into. So f prime of negative 1 now is negative 1 over, that's here, uh, negative 1 squared minus 2 over negative 1 cubed. From here, you can probably get it. You just need to compute and simplify this value right here.